Is everybody ready? Timothy Chalamet did give us 19 hours warning that the Wonka trailer was coming. And yeah, today, at the stroke of noon. So quiet up and listen down. Nope, scratch that, reverse it. Timothy posted the trailer and simply wrote as his caption, Wonka, it's the origin story of the chocolate maker who was made famous by Gene Wilder in 1971. Excuse me, question time will come at the end of the session. We must press on. Come along. And then given a very different spin by Johnny Depp in 2005 that people either loved or hated. Everything in this room is eatable. Even I'm eatable. But that is called cannibalism, my dear children, and is in fact frowned upon in most societies. Timothy's got a big hat to fill following in those guys' footsteps. Huh. Huh? Huh. A double hop. Do you have a pencil and paper? Uh-huh. I got an idea. But he wasn't scared off by the daunting role. He actually just looked at the joyous film as a whole and knew it was something he wanted to be part of. Telling Vogue, to work on something that will have an uncynical young audience, that was just a big joy. That's why I was drawn to it. In a time and climate of intense political rhetoric, when there's so much bad news all the time, this is hopefully going to be a piece of chocolate. CinemaCon audiences got to see this trailer back in April. So that means they've been able to, just, you know, whenever they want, just picture Hugh Grant as Oompa Loompa to brighten up their day for the last two and a half months. I will have you know that I am a perfectly respectable size for an Oompa Loompa. An Oompa what now? After the CinemaCon presentation of the trailer, Timothy said, that's the first time people saw Hugh as an Oompa Loompa, right? Allow me to refresh your memory. Oh, I don't think I want to hear that. Too late. It was a trip, and for those that saw it. And obviously Hugh and director Paul King have an extraordinary collaborative relationship. Hugh previously worked with Paul on Paddington 2, which has a 99% fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Then suddenly, spotlight, me, ping. Listen to the rain on the roof. Timothy continued, Hugh Grant's one of our greats, so it was a dream. Also, as you guys saw, there's Roman Atkinson, Olivia Coleman, Keegan-Michael Key. It's just a dream as an American actor to be working with this dream of British actors. Now, Keegan is American. He was born in Michigan. But yeah, Timothy was referring to the rest of the cast, basically. Timothy also Instagrammed the film's poster. Now, it says Christmas, but it'll actually be December 15th, my birthday, when it hits theaters. And yeah, I can't really say that this is something I wanted for my birthday. Now, certainly the pedigree of the cast and Paul King are setting this movie up to be a winner. I'm still not sold this is going to be an interesting enough story to be compelling. You see, I'm something of a magician, inventor, and chocolate maker. Do I really need to see the origin story of Willy Wonka? I'm not sure. I'm excited for Timothy to perform seven musical numbers. And by the way, this movie's gonna come out, I guess, six weeks after Dune 2 hits theaters. So yeah, get ready for a lot of Timothy this holiday season. I don't think that's a bad thing. On Timothy's Instagram post of the poster, Mindy Kaling commented, this and Dune, I'm shook. Now, what are your thoughts on the Wonka trailer? I've started dancing now. Once we've started, we can't stop. 